Hello, this is Mac Glumac, the Autistic Golfer. How you guys doing? Anyway, today is Tuesday, August 1st, and today we are heading up to Montana. This is going to be a two-part video, so um, we are going to be spending the night somewhere probably in Idaho or something, and then we're going to be arriving in Montana tomorrow. So, hope you enjoy the ride, folks. So anyway, we are now in the town of Susanville, and... Um, this is a really nice community here, and um, this is pretty much the first town that we're going to hit when we're on our way towards Montana, and we're going to be heading up to I to Oregon and going through other states, and it's going to be a really nice drive. So, I'll show you some of the highlights along the way. You're looking at an old switch engine from the U.S. Army. You don't see diesels like that very much anymore these days, except on small branch lines. It's a pretty cool find there. You got some cows, little babies. Mm, so cute. Look at those. Look at those little guys. Mm, so cute. Old railroad depot right here all boarded up. That's a good restoration project right there. This is the town of Alturas, California, and this is where we're going to stop for a little bit of rest. Well, this here is the Southern Pacific, number 2718. It's a 280 built by the Baldwin Locomotive Works in 1904. This locomotive is definitely going to need some work if it is to even have a cosmetic restoration. It, it's all rusty, It not in terrific shape. It's probably been on display here for so long that it, it needs a makeover. I'd love to see this locomotive running again someday. The locomotive has some nice flowers around it, but I I think it deserves a little bit better than this. At least a good cosmetic restoration would be nice. Here you can see the locomotive has two small wheels in front, eight driving wheels in the middle, and no wheels in the back. And that makes it a 280 consolidation. The 2718 was retired in 1956 and was placed on display here at the Modoc County Historical Museum in November 1956. We have now just crossed into Oregon, heading toward Lakeview. Hey, look at that, guys. There's a mountain staircase. Stairway to heaven.
out guys take a look at these this old um, playground here in in hind they got like look at this slide here I mean that that slide is so old I mean this is like from the oh, over this is definitely over 50 years old or something this is maybe he's 70 years old I don't know this is this stuff is this is classic stuff a little merry-go-round they got and look they got one of those um <laughs> Oh my gosh, that that's cool. Historic Union Pacific Ontario Depot. Looks very beautifully preserved. I don't know when it was built, but it's wonderfully preserved. Beautiful.
cars here. Wow. This is a nice little community. It's almost like being in a real western, old western town. It's really cool. <laughs> Got a county jail. <laughs> oh man, this, this stuff is so historic here. Wow. <laughs> Antique store. Ooh, couple mannequins. <laughs> Oh, the Boise Basin Museum. That should be interesting. Look at these bitter bottles and whiskey bottles. Wow. These are really cool. Got some pretty lady here looking at me. <laughs> oh, a bunch of marbles. Oh, I collect all. I collect a lot of marbles, so that's that's pretty cool there. <laughs> Switchboard. Wow. I mean, there's the just literally flakes, flakes, just yeah. flakes like you would see, you know, and they're, they're, that's what they would have to pan for the hardest is because the, but a little vial like these vials and even smaller vials of flakes Indeed. would cost, I mean, this would, would have been back then probably a thousand dollars worth. Whoa, and Even now, just a few flakes in about that much water wow. is worth about three hundred dollars. Whoa. Just that's... flakes. Well, look at the cost of gold. <laughs> that's... It's up to twelve something. It's, it's big, yeah. even yeah. today. Well, it's here, but the thing was back when, it, when the gold rush started in the, in the 1860s and the first people that got here were anywhere where you would see a stream or a little river, you could go and pull up something that was growing like a weed or a grass clump yeah and then the roots would be all kinds of gold flakes whoa that's the gold yep, dust and that's what you would have gold. been looking for yeah that <laughs> of course it would have been washed many more times you know it would sparkle yeah. more if you wash but yeah that's exactly yeah. all that panning and stuff is what they were looking for and if you melted all that down that's gonna <laughs> would you look at that? hey you want to play a crap game <laughs> <laughs> Well, they moved a cute little goat up there. But, I mean, it's been the same since I've been here in this second year, so I don't know. I know other people have said the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. 10, 15, 16. Okay. Okay. Wow. 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 Remember that basket I showed you mm -hmm. outside? Wow. Something similar to that. We're open through September. Usually, um, like I said, unless the weather turns really bad. So 11 to 4, 7 days a week.
Look at all this great equipment they got here. Man, look at the sun behind the smoke from a forest fire. That's a pretty typical sight for the Rocky Mountains these days in the summer. So many forest fires. And look at all these guys. That's a lot of cows. Big boy bull out there. Couple cute faces. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Hi girls and boys. Look at this cool beetle I found guys. <laughs> Pretty cool. Here he is with his mate. in Montana. First time in a year. Almost a year for me. Here comes the turn off to our old house. St. Mary's Road. Well, we're back home in Stevensville. Finally, we're back in Montana after nearly a year. Well, me at least. Mom's been back here a couple times, I believe. Just once. Yeah. Finally back home. <laughs>